レッスン12家庭法 Part1 直接法と家庭法の違い皆さんこんにちは佐世保西高校の相原ですこの動画では家庭法と直接法の違いについて説明をしたいと思いますでは早速始めましょう First, I want you to look at these two sentences. Number one, if it rains tomorrow, I will stay home. Number two, if I lived near the sea, I could go swimming every day. What do they have in common? In other words, what is the word which is used in both sentences? The answer is, In Japanese, if means もし誰それが何なんするならば。So, if we look at these two sentences with Japanese translation, they look pretty much similar, but they are very different actually. Next, please look at the verbs of each sentence. What are the verbs in number one sentence? They are reigns and will. These are in the present form, 現在形 On the other hand, look at number two sentence. What are the verbs? They are lived and could. They are in the past form, 過去形 When we look at the number one sentence again, do you know if it will rain tomorrow? Or what is the percentage of rain tomorrow? Actually, we don't know. Will it be something like 20%, 50%, or 80%? We are not sure. So the percentage of rain tomorrow We don't know. We aren't sure. This is a very important phrase. We don't know. We aren't sure. On the other hand, if we look at the number two sentence, do I live near the sea? Or can I go swimming every day? Or what is the percentage of I live near the sea and I go swimming every day? The answer is no, I am not living near the sea and I cannot go swimming every day. So this is 0%, impossible. What is happening in number two sentence is only in your imagination or in your dream. When we talk about your imagination or dream, which will never happen in reality, we use the past form of the verbs. The first type of sentence, we don't know, we aren't sure, this is called 直接法 in Japanese. On the other hand, the second group of the sentence, which is talking about your imagination or in your dream, this is called 家庭法 in Japanese. Okay, let's practice. Please look at the picture and the conversation. Please think, is this the number one, we don't know, we aren't sure situation? Or number two, zero percent, impossible situation? And try to fill in the blanks. In the conversation, A says, what are you going to do this weekend? B says, we aren't sure. We don't know. This is very important, isn't it? If the weather is good, we'll probably go to the beach. If the weather is bad, we'll probably stay home. 
Let's look at the next example, number one. Please look at the picture and try to fill in the blanks. How is Tom going to get to work tomorrow? He isn't sure. If it rains, he'll probably get to work by bus. Or he'll probably go to work by bus. If it's sunny, he'll probably ride a bicycle. Or he'll probably get to work by bicycle. Look at the next one. What are Mr. and Mrs. Green going to do tonight? They aren't sure. If they are tired, they'll probably stay home. Or if they are tired, they'll probably watch TV at home. If they have some energy, they'll probably go to the dance. Or they'll probably go out. After number three, Please practice with your worksheet. And when you practice, I want you to be careful about several things. Number one, when you practice, please don't try to write in or fill in at, uh, at first. Think in your head and try to speak. Then practice many times. Number two, try to practice many times so that you can be fluent. And only after when you practice a lot of times, number three, please write in on your worksheet. I hope this will help you. And this is the end of today's lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.